face some adversity at some point. He threw it 47 times against the Ducks. Hasn't had to throw in the other three wins. The first play is a handoff to the senior Jeremy. Cook of all trades, a safety linebacker play, nickel back, he can do it all. So Cook will throw it on second and ten. Has protection, now steps up, dumps his short, deflected into traffic and intercepted. With the ball, Chris, what an effort here. What a great job of getting pressure, and it's really the coverage that did it. The coverage downfield ends up coming up with the play, and because they didn't give up on the play, Valentine it just goes off of his helmet in the air, and that gives you an idea of what Gregory, known as a pass runner. This is Langford picking his way for a short season. The linebacking core is thin. Two men injured tonight, Marcus Newby and David Santos. Play action on second down. Cook scrambles, fires downfield, incomplete. His trip to Lincoln and, and how Gregory gave him a lot of trouble. He put a lot of pressure on him, and he talked about that this week. And they actually tried to get him to fight he on the... possessed against the Hurricanes. Third and eight. Cook straight back, fires near side, incomplete, well the Rose Bowl are going back to, to even earlier this year against Oregon. They start slow and then they kind of make adjustments and find a way to try to attack the defense. One three in motion, but they hand it back to Langford. He tries the left side and he's knocked down after a short touchdown drives to opponents to begin games. Play with house money right now. Yes, <laughs> the turnover on the second play. And now Cook fires over the middle, complete first down at the 45. Opportunity for Polini's team to move up. On first down, Cook, play action, fires near sideline, wide open is Tony Lippert, who will stroll. This being his team, because he's now the starting quarterback. Last year, he's kind of feeling his way through the air. Langford again, little stutter step, but he hammers it. He'll stay, but now back to 100%. On first down, Cook rolls, play action, over the middle, into traffic. In other words, as soon as he went out, Jonathan Rose got beat for the touchdown by Lippitt. On second and ten, Cook fires over the near Abdullah. So third and ten. It's a roll for Cook. And he just fires incomplete again. And sacks. It's not just about sacks. Look, look at how Gregory does a good job. He actually took a shortcut to get to where the quarterback was going. He's not a, as a defensive end. He cuts through the line and has an impact. Three picks in the Spartans Conference Championship year a year ago. So Cook at the 37. Hands it off to Langford. Good drop and a throw. Far side complete to Keith. Took things over without the coaches out there. Langford tries to cut it back. Cook goes to the next quarterback in line. Had a half hour conversation with Cousins after the loss in Eugene. They hand it back on the reverse and trying to muscle his length. Third and two. It's Langford in the eye formation, and he's got it. But he doesn't have the first down as the Cornhuskers penetrate. The coverage setting up this great opportunity. It's Langford. Starts right. Breaks a tackle. Langford to the secondary. Down inside the 10 and diving to the end. All's good at the moment. And the moment. Spartan Nation. Yeah. It can change fast. Sure but at can. the moment. They fake it to Langford. Cook rolls out. A first down throw. Looks over the middle. Fires. Catch made. And had the lead. He felt he wasn't quite aggressive enough. And given that position, he would not make them the same mistake. The ball comes loose. They definitely had some chances. Now let's see how their defense holds up against Connor Cook, who's just starting to warm up. And a first down throw for Cook. Caught. Breaking free. Lane beginning to come down a little heavier now. Here comes a trick play on the reverse. There's some room for R.J. Shelton, but the he's really evolved over the last couple of years. This is Nick Hill, a little 5'8 senior tailback. He's given Langford a breather, and he carries for a first down. It's Hill in the eye formation behind the fullback Pendleton. And they give it to him. Good block in the corner. And he shows good confidence off of the year of winning a Big Ten championship. Another second down carry for Hill who darts down inside the 10. 
formation on third and one. But up inside, and the Cornhuskers rise up at the tip. Duffy Doherty. Cook rolls out. Fires incomplete. Because <laughs> Antonio, the biggest thing he did before winning the conference in the Rose Bowl was turn things around against Michigan, right? Here's Langford trying to bounce it, but Gregory drags him down. Wouldn't let him get the corner. Kind of a, a, a uh, specialist coming off the edge. Now he takes on a block first, and then he also chases the play down. Look at that. He's going up against an offensive tackle, takes him on, sheds him, and then has the speed to chase down Jarrett right there. And you'll see him move. Fort Huskers bring four rushers. Cook has good protection. Fires far side into traffic in the first down. Up there on third down yeah. against double. Trust coverage. is the word, right, between those two. But their first down throw on the reflection. It's put the ball in a, pl in a place where the receiver can make a play on the ball. The second down throw. It's a screen. In motion, Nick Hill back into the backfield. He immediately looked that direction, and the pass is nine children. All of them have gone to college, but it's been a frustrating night. And after another timeout, it's fourth and one. They hand it to Langford, and he muscles for a first that almost broke free. Range now with 41 seconds to go. Still the one timeout. Cook fires, taking conditions, looking into the wind in this quarter. Cook fires far side and a diving attempt in place. Other than that, not very efficient at all. Cook, quick drop, throws again far side. Similar play coming down. Defensive head coach, you just smile. You just smile and you're proud of Pat Narduzzi in this defense, but they still have another half to go. This is Drummond. Gets the corner. He got right around. Then having seven completions and a half. Yeah, seven for 19. On first down. The game because I think it sparked Oregon late in that football game. But they didn't learn from it. They said they want to keep their foot on the accelerator. There's a delayed handoff. Langford is tracked down and dropped for it. Top three and four with the upsets today. Oh, yeah. It'll be in tremendous position. Hook on third and 14. Fires over the middle. It's low. Here we go. Back up to Langford. Makes the recovery. And the Spartans take over at the 15-yard line. It's Langford spinning for a short game. It, it, it could become very draining on this unit. For sure. Langford on second and eight. Tries the middle again. Still on his feet. And now Trevor Roach. And come. see if the Spartans can convert. They need five. Just one of ten tonight. Cook drops back, looks in the end zone, fires high, and walk off. Answer real serious, real serious. Dead serious was right. Hey, hey, you're right about Michigan, by the way. You figure at Michigan State, at Ohio State, probably going to lose both those That's games. That's two L's. They're going to have to win out of two and four. Of Northwestern gives him a shout out on Twitter today for picking Northwestern. <laughs> that's how the life. That's how the Bears' life has changed. As ever, now we get to watch uh, Big Ten football, Michigan State making a statement, and perhaps another undefeated team falling in Nebraska. Cook throws it near sideline. Lippitt makes a man miss. Hit hard, but he's in the first half. He's now got a 100-yard game on just three catches. Set eye and Hill takes the catch. Connor Cook, Kirk talking about a 22. Empty backfield on second and eight. This is a different look. The Spartans have five receivers. He'll pump fake. Cook was going to take off, but he's trapped for a sack. Limited the running game. Well, yeah. They talk about their front being their strength. So it's third and long. Cook well protected this time. Chucks it downfield in a beautiful throw. And here comes the reverse. Lippitz got the ball, and he's got the edge. Tony Lippitz scooting 20, 10, cuts it back. Goes you don't want to be on the, the wrong end of one of those Bellini tie rates. There you go. If Dave Warner is true to his word, you can see more aggressive play calling in the final quarter. <laughs> and they are going to throw it. It rolls and fires. In. Their whole season will come down in November 8th. Cook on third down swings it to Langford. 
Martin will stiff arm, but he's brought down. This game and make his coach smile. Right, Chris? <laughs> he will smile occasionally. And give it to Langford running right. And in a short game. Then was here when he first got to, to Michigan State. About discipline and commitment and sacrifice. Look at dangerous. In Los Angeles, Chris. Flies to the Northwest. Ole Miss ends a 10 year skit against Alabama today. Wow. Langford running wide, gets a first down. And some moments unlike any other in this show. And the Rebels cap it off with a win. Langford running wide to the left. Gregory in the Huskers defense. A lot of them do to yeah. just save their space. Claim, claim your territory. Right. You know what, though, Kirk? You have a, a day like this. But the thing that could hold them back is being in the Big Ten and playing the schedule they play. After the timeout, third and two, and hammering ahead for the first down. Increasingly interconnected. It's only the first week in October. Been a long way to go. The committee doesn't even meet for three weeks. But I think because the, the radar at the beginning of the season ended up having sort of a magical season. Or is it someone other than those three teams? The, the, the sledding is so tough in the SEC West. I mean, yeah. just... A year ago. And third down, Cook off play action. Fires almost intercepted. Oh, right into that. So Langford dropped for a loss. Cook now under center on second and 11. In motion, they give it to Shelton. R.J. Shelton gets a couple of blocks. Gets nine. And the Huskers come up with a stop. Spartans need two yards here on third down. Lankford has it. Fighting. Still fighting. But won't get there. A yard. Trying to chew this clock out. And they hand it off to Langford. Looking for blocks on the edge. He's got a couple. He's got a crease down in back in terms of 100 yard games within the conference. Nick Hill replaces him. And he's got it. And that, you know, Squirms that, the defensive coordinator. And this is Nick Hill again. Bouncing it. And Langford is back in the game. And he's got it running left, but he's got no room to run. Got to stay in bounds. Gets oh. knocked 